Afternoon classes at Olympia interrupted by flames from above. Good Thursday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Crisca. Thank you for joining us. Lizzie Stiles was on the scene all afternoon where the focus quickly centered on the bright, shiny panels on top of the roof. She joins us now live in the studio with new details from the fire chief and the superintendent. Lizzie. Yeah, Tyler and Amber, it's an odd coincidence, but students at the Olympia High School and Middle School campus were actually supposed to have a fire drill tomorrow, according to the fire chief there. Well, instead of practice, they had the real deal this afternoon. At 1250, fire broke out on the roof of Olympia's dual high school and middle school campus, right above the gym. Investigators aren't finished working on what the cause is, but signs point to solar panels on the roof. Yeah, the solar panels uh, in the one section is uh, a total loss. Um, the roof is going to be in some, uh, needs a lot of repair, a lot of work. Nothing made it to inside the school. Fire marshals were on the scene, and even if solar panels were the ignition point, what caused them to start burning? Restoration crews were on the scene soon after the fire to patch up the roof temporarily. They also had fans inside to dry up water and clear out smoke. No students or staff were hurt. The superintendent, Laura O'Donnell, says everyone was out of the building in under three minutes. This is the reason we practice these drills all the time. The response has been amazing from all of the, the communities, so we're very thankful. And even though we're out here in the middle of nowhere, the response time was, was relatively short. The volunteer fire crew of Mount Hope and Funks Grove arrived within 12 minutes. They eventually had help from nine other fire departments. Students and staff moved to Minear Christian Church to reunite with parents, leading to long lines, all of it finished by 4.30. The staff and students were remarkable today. And at the McLean County Board meeting tonight, member Catherine Metzger recognized those nine fire response teams from around the area, as well as the aid from McLean County Sheriff's and the county's emergency management during the invocation. You can find more details about this fire on our website, 25newsnow.com. Amber.